Hi Aiden. Hi Spicy. Just got the Discord ping. Dope. That means we can start soon. Waiting for the bot is quite literally the worst thing. Hi Voxel! Oh, we'll talk about it. Don't even worry. But overall, pretty okay. Just very tiring. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I'm kind of exhausted. <laughs> Hi, Diana, how are you? I don't know, her voice holds out through the stream. I think we'll be okay. Probably. I did like almost fully lose my voice after the meetup though. It was so bad. Sandy, thank you so much for 26 months. I know it's crazy how time flies. All right, we're nearly ready to go live. I'm shoving a bagel. I'm panic shoving a bagel in my face. So just give me a few more seconds. Last time I uh, ate on stream, we had some, some sussy clips, so. Bagel race? No, seriously, you guys. Be so grateful you can't see me. I'm eating like a goblin. I have two clips for you. I cannot wait to see them. Don't get sick from eating too fast. Oh, don't worry. I won't. I never have in my entire life. Where do I put them? Ooh, either tag me in the Discord or just pop them in chat here. Okay, I'm gonna grab water. What are you having? What sort of bagel? Oh man, I wish it was an inter- It's literally a blueberry bagel with strawberry cream cheese. There are a few things that are perfect in life, but blueberry bagels with strawberry cream cheese are like perfection incarnate. Do you want them in here? Sure, why not? I'm feeling ballsy. I trust you. Oh God, I'm worried.
everyone, how are you? We changed on the song change. It's like my favorite thing ever. How is everyone? CLBA, welcome back for two months. How are you? <laughs> Yo, what is you? You know, not much to be honest, guys. I have a confession. I have a confession. I have a confession. I may have literally just woken up from an entirely unplanned nap. I am so tired. So please forgive me in advance. Um, I am surprisingly wrecked from traveling. Um, so I wasn't just at the NorCal meetup this weekend. I was there, but after that, I went to San Francisco. Uh, and I was there. And so I am just like dead. Uh, so do do bear with me. I apologize in advance if I seem a little bit off. Uh, it's because I literally woke up, I think, like, at four. <laughs> so, we're doing great. I just shoved a bagel in my face. I'm, like, chugging water and that new, like, watermelon Mountain Dew. Let's go. So, this is going to be a fun one. But the good news is, is we are just rebuilding a board today. Uh, in fact, we're rebuilding uh, a board that we built together that I hated. Hated. Despised. Double hate. Loathed entirely. So we are redoing that and fixing that up today. Um, this was built with OG navies at the request of the person whose keyboard. Oh my god, this is so heavy. At the request of the person whose keyboard it is, and uh, they stink to be honest. Uh, V1 navy stink. Um, V2 navies much better, uh, but V1s really, 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 really stink. So we're gonna take those out. <laughs> I want to fix this up because this board deserves much better, in my opinion. Look at this. It's so pretty. It deserves so much better than that. Oh my god, I'm so jealous. I also have a constellation, like, personally. Uh, but this rose gold, gold, gold color is so killer. Um, so we're going to fix this up and get this in, like, fighting order because goddamn. Goddamn. Look at this keyboard. <laughs> Maybe that was the problem I had with them. I had V1 navies and they were way too short travel. Well, the issue I have... Wait, hold on. Did I already fix these? Oh, that's embarrassing. JK. I think I already fixed these. In fact, I think we fixed these on stream. This is now sounding great. Nice. Well, check that off our to-do list. This sounds good. Um, what should we pivot to doing? Shit. I'm sorry, y'all. Also, Omnitype, welcome. I'm not ignoring you. How are you? Also, Saraj, welcome. Feels like it's been forever. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I totally forgot you changed your name. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, hope you're doing well. I was wondering if that keyboard you couldn't say is coming out soon. Uh, August should be. <laughs> Rip, let me just throw away these V1 navies. No, they just have really bad leaf pink. You know what though? Ah, these are fine now. Thanks. Um, they just have really bad leaf ping, so you have to like play with them uh, to get them to like work out, but apparently I already did that. Uh, stream canceled, boys. I know, GG. Call it good. No more stream. No, we'll, we'll do something. I have plenty of boards that need fixing. Don't you worry. Um, let me just get the chat first. Twinkie, thank you so much for the prime. Welcome back. A bonded pair. <laughs> A bonded pair of ferrets? I didn't know that was a thing ferrets did. I thought that was just for cats. That's so fucking cute. Are you shitting me? Oh my god. Ferrets are adorable. <laughs> Shut up, Trey. Don't bully me. God damn it, chat. I come back from a week off. A week off streaming. Uh, and this is how you treat me? Come on. Come on. Then I get up, chat. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's try this again. All right, ready, ready, ready. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ahem. We'll start in we'll start in one. We'll start in one. It'll be like a whole new stream chat. Is this loot switches?
Yeah, let's do that. Why not? I'm tired. You're tired. We're all tired. Let's have a chill switch sleeping straight. I feel like, um, I feel like I just lied to you guys and I don't like it. Fucking baited, huh? GG. Just stepped on shit. I hope you guys are ready for chaos. It's looking like that's what we're getting. Everybody, welcome to stream. We totally didn't already start. How are you all on this wonderful day? Nah, JK. <laughs> get Zoom, thank you so much for the eight months. Let's 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 just get into it. Sorry about that. Reset, recenter. I know. Breathe in, breathe out. Controversial opinion. Toast is just warm bread and shouldn't be considered. You do realize you've come to like the biggest no toast slander stream ever. I eat toast constantly. What are you doing? Where do you think you are? This is a toast loving zone, sir. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What? Of course toast, but toast is like the first ever food. You know, like, you know, like, I'm pretty sure toast is probably why they invented fire. Fuck, 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 fuck cooking meat. All right, that's bullshit. Somebody just wanted a nice soothing toast with a pat of butter. That's it. That's why fire was invented. GG. Not for meat cooking, not for like basic survival to make toast. Guaranteed. Who are you, Aiden? Who hurt you? I'm not okay with this. Mm -mm. No, 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 not here. Not in my house. You can't make bread without fire though. No, don't worry about that. <laughs> That's just, you know, nickel and diming me now. No, no, no. Hi, Anki. It was nice meeting you last weekend. Oh man, it was so nice meeting you too. How did they bake the bread without fire? A chicken, egg, we're not gonna dwell on it. Don't worry about it. N none of that now. <laughs> Avery, have you heard of the Nibble 65? Is that Clav's board? The one with the, the bite mark out of it. Cause if so, yes. If not, no. Jesus. Just eat bread? Why? No. No. That's like just eat raw meat. There's a massive difference, Aiden. I'm sorry. I have a lot of respect for you as a person. But we're gonna have to not even agree to disagree. We're gonna have to fix your opinion here. Uh, IDK? Wait, I'm sorry. Were you asking me if I heard of a board and you didn't, you didn't know what the board was? <laughs> That's rude, to be honest. That's kind of mean. Uh, it's sun baked? Yeah, yeah, they baked it in the sun. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> Redemption. No, 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 no. I know what it is. Oh, but you don't know who's making it. I just, I understand. Hold on, I gotta fix my Mountain Dew cup. But it's the, it's the stacked acrylic case with the bite mark, right? Hi, Apirus, I even get to say hi, wife. 
JK, I know why not. I was getting pulled everywhere. Not in a bad way, it was very flattering, but I definitely, <laughs> there was a vendor actually. Okay, story time. There was a vendor who I was supposed to have met up with the day before, but I actually got my booster the day before I went to San Francisco. So the entire time I was at the meetup in that sweaty, on air conditioned, 700 people packed into a tight space area, uh, I was sweating my balls off, not just from that, but also like having like chills and shit from the booster, which was great. Um, so I was supposed to have had dinner with this vendor the night before so we could, you know, talk about stuff, don't worry about it. Um, and <laughs> we didn't get to, unfortunately. Um, so I get to the meetup. And like, they see me, we make eye contact, they start walking across the room. And then one of you guys pulls me aside, I was like, oh, sorry, like, I gotta talk to them. Obviously, like, I can talk to the vendor later. I have the number. I don't have your guys' number. So, um, <laughs> you guys pulls me away. We talk, they make eye contact again. One of you guys pulls me <laughs> We talk, and we make eye contact again. One of you guys pull. it was literally like that for six hours. If it wasn't so, like, I don't know, it was like, it was such high levels of comedy. I wanted to like bust up laughing. This poor vendor had to wait until all of the giveaways were like cold. And I was like frantically packing up my boards to go to talk to me about this thing they were supposed to talk to me about the night before. So it was a very busy meetup, very fun. I very much enjoyed talking to you guys, but oh my goodness. So I'm so sorry you didn't get to talk to me. I don't think you were the only one and I'm very sorry about that. I'm actually falling on Aiden's side now. Don't say that. <laughs> don't, don't say that. Chat, <laughs> you can't do this to me. I just got back. You can't do this to me. Sometimes bread should just remain bread and not be tasted. I mean, yeah, like, I guess, like, sometimes. Like, in rare, like, I guess, like, I'm trying to think, like, in like a bread pudding, you know, like toasted bread in a bread pudding, I guess. But most sandwiches should be toasted, IMO. Have you ever had toasted peanut butter and jelly? So good. I'm scared going to the meetup. Oh, you shouldn't be eating on it. Everybody's super nice. Honestly, it's kind of a problem that uh, sometimes the people who are absolute dickwads are super nice to you in person. And so you'll talk to them, you'll be like, oh, like, who, who, like, who are you? Like, what's your online tag? And then they tell you someone who, like, called you horrific names behind your back, like, a year ago. Like, oh, <laughs> a great conversation, but all right. Well, confirm your six foot. I, guys, I'm not lying. I'm rather tall. Uh, <laughs> it was funny because I don't think, at least I don't think anybody missed me. Because I was, like... <laughs> Head and shoulders over most of the people there. Walnut bread with peanut butter is goaded. Shit. Shit. That sounds so good. What the fuck? She is tall. Can't confirm. Hey, Jordan. Talk about someone who was supposed to talk to me and then we got like zero time to talk. Jordan, for those of you who went to the meetup, Jordan is the guy who was running the Mazak booth. Doxed. I know. Exposed. Was expecting shorty apiary, got tall apiary instead. Yeah, everybody thinks I'm short. I'm sorry, I'm really not. Like, I'm really not. I'm <laughs> really sorry about that. I'm not like a giant. I'm not like David's height, or Glarsus's height. He's like 6'4". It's ridiculous. Glarsus has also brought uh, another part of Glarsus, because uh, Glarsus is in, it's mostly just him, but he does have like helping hands. He brought along Fraser. And Fraser is like six, like six or something. He's just like this very tall, skinny, white, very polite British boy, like <laughs> sticking out of this crowd of like sweaty keyboard nerds, and he knows nothing about keyboards. <laughs> <It's so bad. laughs> he was such a good sport, though. If I ever get to meet you in person, we'll be tall twinsies. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. I heard Tiny had a really cool uh, make an artisan table set up. Yeah, 
Uh, so she had like, uh, let's talk about like the setup of the meetup. So she had like a little artisan corner. I should start cracking switches or we're going to be here all day. Um, she had like a little like make your own artisan corner that she set up with like clay stuff. Um, and so you could like go in the corner, like make your own like clay artisan, like sculpt it. And then she had like a little oven that you could bake it in. Very cool. Uh, I think she was kept busy with that just the whole time. Um, and then, uh, I think as far as stuff to do, that was, like, the main one. They did have, like, alcoholic drinks and stuff. Um, I heard they were very good. Um, what else was there? Uh, they had, like, a bunch of, like, vendor booths. They didn't have a ton of vendors there, which, honestly, I didn't mind. I think it was just local people. I don't think they did a massive call for vendors either, uh, which, you know, I honestly didn't mind. Um, but, yeah, they had, like, a couple of vendors up front. I think HHKB made an appearance. Um, Mazak made an appearance, which is funny because they sell machines, not keyboards. Um, and then who else made an appearance? Uh, Mode made an appearance. It was lovely seeing the Mode guys again. Um, I think that was pretty much it though. Like it was like a small turnout. Um, there was one more, oh, there was one really small NorCal brand, but I completely space, I'm spacing on it. We'll blame it on the nap. But yeah, no. And then... Just everybody brought their stuff. Red Bull very kindly didn't like sponsor the event, but they flew a bunch of people out. So Glarses, Nathan, uh, me, uh, and Diego uh got flown out, and then Tiny and Huey are already in that area. They're usually the people who like they're the people who organize the meetup as well. Uh, so that was great too. Wait, we're supposed to work? I thought this was a two-hour story time. I know, I know. I mean, it basically is, right? Like, that's that's basically looping streams. It's just us chatting, right? More or less, give or take. Uh, okay, but like, seriously, I do need to get cracked. Ooh, I kind of... Ooh, control on caps. Oh, yeah, 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 I think you're right. Jordan can help us, I think. He was sitting next to them. I was wasted tired after having to explain why I was there 716 times. Meetups are really tiring. Um, I love them because I get to meet you guys and it's so fucking fun. Uh, like I fucking love talking to people and like putting faces to names. It's so great. Uh, and like giving everybody hugs, it's literally my favorite thing. However, obviously like being on your feet for six hours walking around and like talking to people constantly like literally guys my voice was shot like immediately after the meeting so i had been talking for six hours straight it's so exhausting and then i went like straight from the meetup like to another thing in san francisco so i just got home actually yesterday <laughs> I like had to like count. So again, if I seem kind of like out of it, I apologize. I literally just got home, but I didn't want to like miss you guys for any longer. So we had to hang. Meetup was sweet, but a lot. Oh yeah, man. I bet you guys were just like hustling the entire time. Chase is with uh, HHKB in case you guys were wondering, but yeah, yeah, no, it was so good. The drinks, the venue, okay, so historically, historically, keyboard meetup venues have not been the greatest. Uh, they're usually a little bit too small. They're usually very hot. This one was too, uh, but they're usually a little bit too hot. And usually it's just like a little bit cramped, but we had like, so this is at a place called Zeld House. It's like a, it's like a gaming uh, bar uh, in downtown San Jose. Uh, and the space was huge this time. They have like a dedicated streaming room that we didn't go into and like other really cool stuff, like a tournament space. They usually host like uh, Smash tournaments, the owner was telling me, like a lot of Smash tournaments. Um, both of like the part owners are like really into Smash as well. So there was like space for that and like a stage, but more importantly, there was like eating space. They had like an open bar that you could go get drinks at uh, and water, uh, thank God. <laughs> they had like a water station that was free. Um, and uh, overall, I think it was really good. Uh, there was obviously like a few hiccups. It was hot, <laughs> it was really hot. 
and I'm used to being really warm. Like I'm so that like I grew in Ari up in Arizona, but it was like all of us were sweating our asses off. I had to take a break and like step outside like four or five times. It was really, really warm. Um, but it's not like their ACs were broken. There were just, you know, 730 people crammed into this space and walking around for the entire time. So it was gonna be a struggle regardless uh, with the doors open the entire time as well. Um, but overall, I think it went like pretty well, I would say. Guildhouse was amazing. Yeah, and the owners were so sweet too. I had the opportunity to like, they very kindly like pulled me aside to chat with them. We got chatting actually on one of my breaks outside. I didn't realize they were the owner. Uh, and then they pulled me aside and we had some chats because they actually own an additional bar in the city where I grew up. City, city, it's a very small town. Uh, so that was kind of funny, but um, they did a crazy job. I heard I heard rumors that they want to do it more often. Like they want to do this sort of thing like quarterly. We'll see, that's pretty often, but even twice a year would be really cool. And I think there's enough of an audience in NorCal to potentially justify it, so that's cool. Sounds like a good reason to have a larger venue next time. Um, you know, honestly, I don't think you can. <laughs> like it was a pretty big venue. Um, I would say, God, Jordan, how big would you say Guildhouse was? I'm bad at like estimating things in feet, but it, it was probably like, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, probably like 10,000 square feet, 6,000 square feet probably. Trust Jordan, I'm bad at this, but it was like, it was fairly large, I would say. Probably the biggest keyboard meetup venue I've seen. Uh, I would say if you guys remember like the Novel Keys meetup space, which is in like the hotel, the ballroom of the hotel, uh, Hotel Morgan, um, it was probably about double that at least. Yeah, I would say double. So it was, it was pretty large. <laughs> The fact that they're interested in hoping, hosting everyone again for another event is a good sign. Also more revenue for them. Yeah, I mean, I was like, oh, you sold that many drinks? That's great. <laughs> you know? Like, oh, I great. Love that that made money for you. Um, it looked like a great event. Bumped they couldn't make it. Sick and isolating. Oh my god. Funny-ish, kind of scary story. There was a point in the meetup where I was like outside getting some water, like taking a break. And uh, all of a sudden, like, this alarm goes off. I'm like, oh, you know, someone just left their phone alarm. Whatever it happens all the time. No big deal. Uh, and then I see, like, six people look really confused, reach into the po their phones and pull them out. And there was, like, a COVID exposure in there. I'm fine. I'm not sick. I was masked the whole time. But um, that was, like, oh, shit, you know? Uh, so thankfully, uh, it was like 50%, maybe more than 50% of people wore their masks the entire time. Uh, and I'm pretty sure everyone was vaccinated, so hopefully nobody got sick from it. But it was a little bit like, okay. My childhood town has a big population in the summer because of people in search of fudge. Fudge. Fudge? That is so weird. Thanks for the fun fact. I'm now gonna like stay up at night trying to figure out where you lived. <laughs> yeah. This is really off topic, but you know how people say they run up the stairs when they turn the lights off? Am I the only one that makes rules? Like if there's a light they can't get, get me? AKA if I can't be got because, oh no, 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 no. 100% quantum. Like if there's a little bit of light, you're safe from the light monsters, you're fine. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, it's about 10k square feet, I think. Okay, okay, yeah. I thought it was like more like 10, but again, I'm horrific at like estimating the sizes of places. I don't understand how square feet, I understand how square feet work, like foot, foot, foot. Like I understand, but like as far as like how they work, you know, like how that translates to space, I'm very bad at it, so I could be off. Michigan is another breed. Oof. You know, I hear Detroit has some gems, but if there's one place I've never had much interest in visiting, it's Michigan. No offense, but your weather sounds miserable. The old fudge quarry gets a man, 
gets many a traveler in the summer. This sounds like a and d quest. What are we talking about? Fudge quarries? 14,000 square foot according to when it was sold in 2015. Thank you, Trey Pop, for pulling up the Zillow record. Wow, look at that Google foo. Switches? These are FFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF
on like one of the chairs in the front, uh, like staring at his phone. And when we walked in, he like looked up and he like squinted. He did a double take and he was like, You guys want to eat? Because <laughs> what are we going to do at that point? Like turn around and walk away. So we're like, Yeah, that would be great. Uh, I don't even remember what we ordered, but we he had to like go back. Like we watched him like turn on the ovens and like cook our food and hand it off to us. And the entire time this is happening, there's these like people coming in and like picking up very sus like packages. Uh, I don't know what was in it. Maybe it was something as like chill as like food. Maybe. I don't know why they were in brown paper bags, but we're not going to question it because this very large, very terrifying man is currently cooking us our portions of fucking lamb kebabs. I don't even know. I was like, Kiwi still won't let me live that down, by the way. <laughs> he was like, my only request is that we never get Indian food ever again. Thankfully, we did not die. We got very mediocre Indian food, took it back to our hotels and ate it there. But, um... That was my tenderloin story. <laughs> it was it was great. Yeah, that was my induction into San Francisco. Remind me to tell you the time I got stuck in the catacombs under China to town. That sounds excellent. Yes, I cannot wait for that story. Was it good food though? No, it was very mediocre. People fly in to see our cherry festival. Dude, I'd fly in to see a cherry festival. That sounds popping. Little do you know that chef was running a two machine. Restaurant. I'm here for it. You know, there's a lot of street food getting Michelin stars these days. Who knows? Who knows? Giga Chad does not ask if eating. He demands it. No, I was like, what are we going to do? Say no? <laughs> yes, we're eating your food and we're going to fucking enjoy it. Oh my god. That's tame for a tenderloin experience. Oh, well, I'm not going to tell the other one. Uh, The other one is the one where, like, our photographer got, like, punched in the face and almost had to throw down with this random ass homeless person but i figured we'd stick with the indian food story for now <laughs> i went to school in sf and studied photography in the early 2000s i spent a week in the tenderloin doing a photo story on drug users there was a big reality check yeah i mean i'm like telling jokes and stuff but i'm definitely not like trying to i don't know like it's a real problem. Like, the housing disparity and crisis in San Francisco is a massive, massive problem. Uh, and it's not something that I think should be taken too lightly. So please don't misunderstand me. Like, we're making jokes in lights of, like, situations. But um, I also do want to, like, acknowledge that. You can't just br brush past that fight story without elaborating further. Well, my worry is that the photographer might be watching. <laughs> I don't want to, like, you know, tell their story while they're just like, yup. <laughs> How do you verify on your Discord? I believe you need to have either an email or a phone number linked to your account. We did that because there's been kind of a, a, a bad run of phishing uh, that's been going on on Discord. And so that kind of helped knock that back. Enable 2FA? Oh, that might be it as well. I don't remember. Wait, this is great content. Do you have more sus stories? Oh, I have a million sus stories. What flavor of sus story do you want? There was a time Alan and I were in LA uh, working with a brand and uh, we made a wrong turn uh, on Uber and we wound up getting, we wound up in Skid Row with like our, <laughs> With, like, our luggage and shit. And, like, I grew up in, like, the Phoenix metro area, all right? Like, I can smell sauce. So I was like, this is wrong. So we, like, pulled up our mat and I was like, shit. <laughs> Thankfully, that one was during the day. We were totally fine. We, like, walked to a... The bad thing is, is, like, no one picks up Ubers in, like, that area of LA. Uh, so we had to, like, walk to a taqueria <laughs> and, like, sit there and, like, order or something. Uh, while we waited for our Uber, and like the entire time they were like at us. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, I know. Um, thanks. <laughs> I never had avocados, but I hate them on another level. Aiden, what the fuck is wrong with you? What are you okay? 
I like honestly, seriously, I'm worried about you. No toast, no avocados. What? <laughs> are you all are you all right, sir? Same and that I've never had seafood. I just want you to know, those of you who said you were thinking Aiden was having a point with the fucking toast situation, that you took advice from a man who doesn't like avocados and has never tried seafood. Yeah, I bet you feel silly now. How have you never had any seafood? Like, no fish? Ever? No, like, shrimp? What? Deathly allergic? That's a good excuse. We don't judge that here. We know how allergies go. They're trolling? I think Aiden is. There's a family beef on my ability to eat it. You split your family over this. <laughs> you know what? I kind of respect it, actually. I do kind of respect it a little. I'm kind of... You know what? Fair enough, Aiden. You know, if you, I appreciate a person who sticks to their gun. If you are willing to split families over your inability to eat seafood, I'm with you, actually. <laughs> fish oil is gross. It makes your burps gross, yeah. I had to, like, I had to take, like, fish oil vitamins for a while. I was on, like, Accutane, uh, and that shit fucks with you. So I had to take, like, fish oil to make sure my joints didn't disintegrate. That was a bad time. Everything I ate, like, it makes you burp a lot, and every burp tastes like fish. I've, I've never felt grosser in my life. <laughs> my mom swears I ate it once and couldn't do it. Oh, that's crazy. Put me down as someone who doesn't like avocados or seafood. Oh, the fuck? You have to be kidding me. Super, we just got over you not liking eggs. God. Damn it. Salmon rower, any type of caviar really is great. Oh, hard degree. Wow. I am like floored. Siege, how have you never had avocados? What? Egg haters in chat. You have to judge other people for their food preferences, all right? I'm with you, sir. But uh-uh, we're, we're putting our foot down. No, uh-uh, that'd be like me, I don't know, judging people. God, what's something stupid that I like in keyboards? I'm trying to think. Judging people for how they loop their stabs, all right? We, no, Aiden, uh-uh. <laughs> Voice destroyed. I'm trying not to scream. I had some feedback recently. That was like, I love apiary streams, but I can't watch them because their voice always peaks. <laughs> so I'm trying to like stop from screaming. It's kind of hard. I apologize. I'm very, I'm very passionate about, uh, <laughs> very passionate about food. So to be clear, I've tried both. I just don't like them. You know, as long as people try things, I'm chill with it. I'm still trying to get over the avocado thing. What? Your RTX uh, voice thing is cutting you off, is it? Because I feel like it's me cutting me off. The peaking is the best part? Oh man. No, because then you're validating them and I don't want that. Avocado? Avocado? I will not have avocado McCarthyism in my chat. Thank you. <laughs> this is not the time or the space. I think you just go airy when you get loud. I'm trying not to yell, all right? <laughs> I'm trying to like it. I'm trying to save your ears. You should be thanking me, honestly. It's like Taylor Swift never heard a song, but now I don't like it. Okay, buddy. What were your favorite meals from the trip? Oh, I didn't eat very much good food, to be honest. I was supposed to go out to eat with some vendors, but again, like, I... It's not happening. Um, so, uh... I ate Panera Bread, but I got DoorDash because they had soup. 
I ate the hotel breakfast. <laughs> I I'm so sad because I wanted to like take advantage of the recommendations you guys gave me, but I was out, y'all. I was really not okay. Um, hey Marcio, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great now. The irony is apparently Puerto Rican avocados are exquisite. Yeah, and the fucking seafood, Sandra. <laughs> I am so sad. You don't like either. Jesus. Did you get to see Tiny's store? Oh, is that public now? I did not get to see Tiny's store. Uh, unfortunately, no. Um, however, uh, I will be at some point in the very near future, 100%. Avocado is like butter that grows on trees and everyone loves butter, right, Aiden? Back me up here. You are trusting Aiden to back you up? Well, I love Aiden, but I don't trust his food opinions at all anymore. I don't think that's real. I understand the, like, olive branch that you are offering here, but I don't think he deserves it. <laughs> I, th I think we're past that now. I appreciate the attempt at peace, though. It soft opened yesterday, I think. Yeah, I hope it goes well. It's always very scary taking something like keyboards and turning it into a physical store. Um, especially since I don't think she has like an online space. So I really hope it goes well and I hope she has a great time. I don't eat any condiments. Hot? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> no? <laughs> Dry burgers for him? Wait, so like no mayonnaise, no mustard, no ketchup, no sauerkraut, no jam, no butter? No, like, gochu, no, like, no, like, sriracha or gochujang or, like. <laughs> Look, I know it's my job to talk. What? Chad is just full of fucking lunatics, apparently. I am, like, scared. I eat my fries before my burger, never at the same time. The fuck do you dip your fries in, you monster? You just- are you, are you just, like, raw-dogging life? <laughs> Like, nothing to dip your fucking fries in, nothing in your burger, nothing on your hot dogs. No wonder you don't like toast. It's literally just fucking toasted bread for you. My god. Why would you dip your fries? Well, not all of us can live in Europe and have like 10 out of 10 fries each. Some of us have to do with like, like McDonald's fries. Also, how dare you? I'm from the land of fry sauce. You like french fries so much, we invented our own condiment for them, all right? I will not have this. This is against my religion, all right? Kind of actually, all right? I, how do you eat sandwiches, Aiden? <laughs> what? Yo, McDonald's fries hit. Yeah, no, like, Chase, like, of all, don't get me wrong, of all of the fast food fries, McDonald's fries are right up there with, like, the Jesus chicken fries, 100%. Like, do not get me wrong, but they do not hold a candle to, like, Belgian frites, all right? That's, that's, like, the difference here. Like, I, I love McDonald's fries. They are very, very good. However, like, Zeech over here is used to, like, fries, all right? Same exact sandwich every day. Aiden, buddy. Are you okay? I'm... Are you alright? <laughs> Pre-ingredient sandwich every day. If, the, if it wasn't peanut butter, 
jelly and bread. Or I I might call a wellness check. <laughs> I mean, Belgian frites are goat. No, like, frites are amazing. I'm shaking. <laughs> if front ear to Phil is over here like, the fuck? <laughs> Aiden, what's your opinion on public parks? That's a weird pivot, but I'll allow it. Aiden, what is your opinion on public parks? <laughs> Luckily, turkey, cheese, and bread. The fuck? Ahem, excuse me, let me try not to peek. The fuck do you mean, luckily? What? You had a turkey sandwich without condiments? What? How did you swallow? Oh, don't clip that. How did you swallow? The fuck? Did you dip your sandwich in a in a glass of water? How? <laughs> I am so scared. Don't give him a sub. I'm terrified of this person. The hell? What? Do you just like have someone on deck to do the Heimlich? <laughs> Luckily, it's turkey, cheese, and bread, aka I'm casually suicidal. God. Die! I guess I must now. Great, I'm stuck with this. No, I'm just kidding. It's good to have you eat it. I love turkey tea sandwich, but dry is not a sandwich. Where do mustard? Yeah, you need like mayonnaise. You need like mustard. You need like avocado on a turkey sandwich. Tomato would be acceptable. The fuck? Sadly, I didn't buy it and I forgot my promise. The cheese combated the dryness of the turkey? Dude, even the soggiest of American cheese could not possibly. Aiden, I am genuinely, in the nicest way, genuinely terrified of you. I am honest to God a little bit scared. Kind of in a respectful way? Damn. Are European sandwiches sauceless? Eh, would you call like a French dip sauceless though? Although I don't think French dip is actually French, is it? It's like French fries. We fancy out here. Avocado too expensive. I live on I live on kind of like in the west, so avocados aren't that expensive, thankfully. I said my first comment would be guess you're stuck with me now. Hey. <laughs> French dip is from SoCal. Yeah, but usually, like Sea Monster is saying, usually you have like a Jew or something to like dip the fucking thing in. What was this hand gesture? Don't worry about it. You have like, you have like something to dip it in so you can swallow that motherfucker. Also, can we appreciate that this is like the slowest switch looping we've ever done? I'm sorry. Yeah, they like pickles, goddammit. None of this cheese and white bread shit. Dude, I bet you, I bet you use Wonder Bread. I bet you do. <laughs> oh, fucking Aiden. Switch living derailed by avocados. I've told you guys a million times. You want me to like stop streaming, basically? You want me to like, absolutely, I like cried tears of rage here. Um, you want to like just fuck up the flow of stream? Bring up something food related, cat related, plant related. Oh god, what's what are the other things I just like soapbox about? Apparently there's a long list, but like you hit one of those, we'll be gone. GG. Just put cry dogs on your sandwich. I mean, like, actually, it would be better. <sighs> I have a ham and cheese toasty each morning for breakfast. Yeah, but that's a ham and cheese toasty, Violet. She doesn't believe in toast. <laughs> this isn't like a warmed up sandwich with melty cheese. This is like a dry as fuck <laughs> turkey cheese bread done. Oh no. My feelings exactly. 
This isn't a toasty. All right. There's no pickle. There's no mayonnaise. Hey, thank you, Sandy. It has to be tiny pickles. The slice ones are not real pickles. Hey, Diana, you take that shit right back out. Next thing you're going to tell me, you're going to tell me the only real pickles are bread and butter pickles. I will not stand for this. I understand where you're coming from, but respectfully, no. Respectfully, no. No. I have, I shit you not, six separate jars of different pickles in my fridge right now. <laughs> Respectfully, no. I don't like pickles. Son of a fucking bitch. I'm firing all of my mods except for Sandy. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ, are you shitting me? I think avocados are only good fresh though. I agree with that. I agree with that. You're good, Sandy. You can stay. Everyone else, goodbye. <laughs> no egg having, dry ass sandwich having. No seafood, no avocado ass, anti-egg, anti-pickle ass mod. <laughs> I've had bad avocados. Honestly, I don't think there's anything worse than an overripe avocado. Anti-millennial SMH. I know, I feel like I'm being, like, directly attacked. Uh, I will send you a jar. I've actually never had uh, a pickled onion before. And I kind of want to at some point. That's a very British thing, though. But yeah, I've never had a pickled onion. I like chicken more, knowing how chickens I had treated me, they bullied me worse than the kids at school. Oh yeah, no. No. Yeah. No. I have no problem eating chicken. Uh, we're all about, like, animal activism, like, be nice to other living things, etc. The exception to that is chicken. Fuck chickens. Chickens are the worst. I'm with you there, Aiden. We've found common ground. I treat you well. Shit, they found me. <sighs> Piccalilli mustard, best condiment. It's so French. Uh, I love fancy mustard. I can't do, like, I don't, I'm not super in love with, like, the standard American, like, yellow mustard. Not my fave, but any fancy mustards. They were, like, my first foray into fancy food because it kept well and was, like, pretty cheap. So, mustard was like my starting point. Curious whether there's any progress with the GMK pickle I see now? I doubt it. Is that a conga kitty on your cat tree? It's not. It's uh, a... <laughs> I, I love that I invested in like the nice lens and shit to have the blurry background, mostly just so you guys couldn't see what's in the background. Uh, that is a clothes hanger. <laughs> for for a desk mask. Oh no, what did Aiden say now? I've never eaten mustard. <laughs> I forgot to mention, oh I can't wait to see where this goes. If chickens were larger, they'd be worse than the Jurassic Park movies depicted the T-Rex as. So I'm like, pretty certain that most dinosaurs had feathers now. I'm pretty sure we're pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that was like a thing. It's just like feathers don't fossilize. But they're like 99.9% .9 sure that a lot of dinos had feathers. Hoping I can say something cute so I don't get banned. Aiden, you've been watching too long for me to ban you. Although we're getting close. 
Mustard is actually so bad. Tastes fucking terrible. I'll, I think it's like um, most condiments in that you're not supposed to eat it on your own and it only tastes good in the right context and you'll be solid, right? Like you wouldn't just have a spoonful of wasabi or like horseradish, right? It, like if you have, if like your first experience with wasabi was literally eating a spoonful, you'd think it was the worst thing ever made. I think condiments, as the name implies, are about context. I think you'll probably like it. Hi, Penda, how are you? I'm so sad you couldn't make it to the meetup, dude. I missed ya. Why don't any of the Froggy Destinat photos have a Geon frog on them? Uh, no real reason, to be honest. <laughs> Mostly because I don't think the person who took them had a frog. Because I didn't take the Froggy Destinat photos. You're gonna die eating a spoonful of wasabi? False. I've done it. False. Yeah, false. I didn't die. I'm still here. Just tell them the wasabi is green tea ice cream and watch them eat a huge spoonful of it. Oh my god. Oh my god, you are the worst. Was it real wasabi though? Girl! You got to make! No, it was not a spoonful of real wasabi. That would have been like a $200 spoonful. Absolutely not. I think I've had real wasabi once. All right. <laughs> Dude, okay, this is a total tangent, but um, Jeremy Clarkson of Top Gun fame uh, had like a cooking show and for his like, not cooking show, sorry, farming show. Uh, and for his farming show, he like, farmed wasabi and tried to sell it and I knew like wasabi was expensive and like wasabi plants were expensive but Jesus fucking Christ I saw the prices that those like wasabi roots were going for it's like what what top gear what did I say top gun my bad sorry yeah top gear Could you imagine, sorry, could you imagine Jeremy Clarkson in Top Gun? Nobody wants to see that man shirtless. Absolutely not. Jeremy the Man Clarkson. Speed! Also, when are we bringing back puffy sleeves? Uh, I have like really bad associations with puffy sleeves. You know, the whole like ex-Mormon thing and all? <laughs> So, maybe not. That'd be slapstick comedy, as it always is. Wouldn't fit in the cockpit. Actually, probably true. <laughs> what did the apiarist say to the bee? What did the apiarist say to the bee? John, I'd love to hear. We should bring back the fanny pack. Oh, dude, I already have. I own three fanny packs. Fanny packs are so useful. I don't trust people who don't wear fanny packs. I can imagine a topless Jeremy. Hold on, can we just leave it there? Can we just leave? Let's just leave that there. Sucks are dreams of shirtless Jeremy Clarkson. The end. <laughs> Wasabi? Hey, I get it, John. I get the joke. I get it. Very clever. Very clever. I pay money to see that. Jeremy Clarkson should start an OnlyFans. <laughs> Just bought a camera fanny pack secondhand. One they don't make anymore. Love them. Wait, that's a thing. I want the camera fanny pack. Do you wear fanny packs as a belt bag or around your shoulder? Um, it depends on the context. If it depends on how full it is. <laughs> okay, honestly, probably Tamara. It depends on how full it is and whether or not I'm wearing a bra. <laughs> That's really it. I prefer it like over like over like a, as like a crossbody. It's like way easier to like get into stuff. But if it's a bunch of like small stuff that would fall out in that context, then probably as a ball bag. 
It just depends on like what's going on. Um, I am building a board for a friend and they want tactiles. I know nothing about tactiles recommendations. Do they know what switches they want? Like, do they know their preferred, 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 God damn it, preferred tactility? Or are you going in blind? Like they've never tried tactiles before. I wear three fanny packs minimum daily. Brilliant. Blind? Dope. Let's go. All right, so I would start them off with T1s because everybody likes T1s. Nobody in the history of ever, that's not true, but most people like T1s. T1s are like a medium tactility. So they're like, that's debatable, but they're like a medium tactility. They're all around pretty palatable. Uh, it's not like punching people in the face when you're typing like holy pandas are, but it's not like where's the bump that some like ergo clear style tactiles are. So I would go with T1s, uh, honestly, and they're pretty easy to get a hold of. They're pretty smooth. Like they're just kind of an all around crowd pleaser. If I, in fact, I have uh, built people um, boards and they didn't know what switch they wanted, but they wanted tactile, but they didn't know anything about it. Usually building with T1s makes them happy. I've never had a complaint. Do you punch people in the face? Often. Yeah, often. It's like you, I'll come on stream sometimes and like my knuckles will still be a little bit red. Uh, I'm surprised you guys don't ask about it more, to be honest. Run from T1s. Don't listen to Aiden. Aiden is still discovering condiments. All right, we don't we don't trust Aiden anymore. <laughs> In matters of taste, that's why she wears many rings. You had to distract you. Salmons, salmons are good. Uh, salmons are good, but T1s are in general are just easy to get a hold of. I keep putting these fucking springs in this bin. I already have blue springs in there. How's your computer science studies coming along? Oh, thank you so much for asking. Uh, total standstill. Uh, I went through, I don't know, I mean, you guys obviously noticed, I went through a little period of, uh, less content happening because I had some medical stuff going on. Uh, and so along with that, I wasn't really doing school very much, but we're getting back into the groove of things, both content-wise and school-wise, so hopefully it'll start picking back up again. To be fair, most gingers are violent by nature. We lack soul, you know. Oh, thank you for the posture check. I appreciate that, Eve. He's just doing this to piss me off at this point. <laughs> we can do tortilla slaps? The fuck is a tortilla slap? Why would you disrespect a perfectly good tortilla like that? Oh no, what are we banning? What are we banning? What word? Go on. No soul, but at least you have condiments like ginger. <laughs> I'm honestly the wrong person for any opinions. Your opinions are valid. Your opinions, we may not like them, but your opinions are valid. Exoricate, excuse me? Yeah, all right. Mods, can you ban the word exoricate? Ex excoriate? I think you spelled it wrong. Pretty sure excoriate is not a word. Tortillas are mid, Aiden, shut the fuck up. <laughs> lovingly, 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 shut the fuck up. <laughs> Tortillas can be used on everything. I just... Corn tortillas are way better than flour tortillas. Agreed. Agreed. If you get the choice, 100% go corn. You can have breakfast tacos, lunch tacos, dinner tacos, dessert tacos. Yeah. It's just flat bread. Oh, it's a word banned in chat, not a word that Apier can't say. Oh no, I'll avoid saying it too. I'm just confused why you're banning me from saying that word. It has me a little bit worried. Flour tortillas are better for slapping though. No, 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 Corn tortillas, <laughs> corn tortillas. Trust me, I speak from experience. Corn tortillas are better for slapping because they tear. It looks so impressive when you slap someone with a fucking corn tortilla because the corn just like explodes on impact. 100% go for corn. Also, corn tortillas are a little bit stiffer. So it has that little bit of extra like oomph. You know, 100% corn. 
So if I wear the ban, I can't be banned. No, you can be banned. We just can't explain why you were banned. I want the full face coverage on the tortilla slap, though. You can eat a large, tor you can eat a large corn tortilla. You just don't see them very often, but you totally can. I'm hungry now. Go eat some food. Go on, get. <laughs> corn, aka maize, sound like maize. Like the maize, which my stupid ass opinions. <laughs> He's gaining sentience. Oh no. <laughs> I blinked the usage of the banned word. Um. So con. So conjunctions can't be banned. <laughs> for the record. What happened with the round two of the Iron 165? Oh, I don't know. I don't follow, I don't follow Smith and Ruin projects. I could not tell you. I assume it's just delayed. It was probably an issue with the prototype because there always is with Smith and Ruin projects. That might have been shady. I apologize. I like getting slapped with blue corn tortillas because it looks like someone wiped their butt. I'm quitting. I'm quitting. <laughs> Don't miss my happy corn fact. Now is not the motherfucking time, Sandy. <laughs> Sucks, sir. We don't kink shame here, but uh, maybe maybe keep that one to yourself. <laughs> God damn it. Um, leave for a week and you guys turn into a bunch of goblins. Jesus Christ. All right, happy corn fact. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to give this one a Google, forgive me. I don't have any, I don't have very many fun corn facts on deck. All right, I'm gonna pull this from the Blowing Springs Farm page. <laughs> You know it's good because the entire- it's a PDF that I have to download, right? And then the PDF is in comments. So I bet they're about to hit me with the happy fun corn facts of a century. Let's look at this. Um, farmers grow corn on every continent except Antarctica. That's pretty funny. One bushel of corn will sweeten more than 400 cans of Coca-Cola. Is that because of high fructose corn syrup? I doubt they're just putting corn straight into coke. Uh, that's not very fun. I, th I feel like I was lied to. The main ingredient in most dried pet food is corn. See, that's not a fun fact because that like kills pets. <laughs> These aren't fun facts. I was lied to by Comic Sans. Uh. Uh. We could do some words this. <laughs> Not true, I know Antarctic corn fibers. <laughs> Aiden, shut the fuck up. You do not. God damn it. <laughs> My bad opinions were bottled up too long. I know, you were like, I wasn't here for a full week, so now you're just letting them all out. I understand that. We missed you, I missed you guys too. Damn it. In my grandparents' village, there's this type of corn like rose, which is godly. It's not that uniform supermarket perfect looking type, it's uneven. The kernels are round in different sizes and often bulky. The kernels are often also different colors, like every tenth is dark. We used to cook it in the fireplace and it was just magnificent. Oh, no, like most produce. Hold on, I just fucked up my mic, I'm sorry. Most produce. If you can get it straight from the farm, it's way better than stuff you'll buy in stores, 100%. I think that's especially apparent with fruit, but even vegetables. Like, if you can, usually farmer markets are not actually that much more expensive than a lot of grocery stores. It depends on where you live, right? Like, obviously, if you're in a very rural area, it's going to be more expensive. But most farmer's markets are not that bad. And the difference in produce, like, the quality of the produce is way better, 100%. I, growing up... Without doxing myself, I used to live very close to a sweet corn farm. So every summer, 
they would like feel like acres acres of sweet corn uh and like we would help them out because you know when you like i grew up on a farm we grew up on a farm you help other farmers that's just the way it works um so we would help them out and in return they would give us like their corn that was going bad to feed to our animals uh and dude fresh sweet corn like like you pick it yourself you eat it for lunch so fucking good it's ridiculous uh fun fact people used corn cobs before toilet paper was <laughs> excuse me exodus that is not a fun fact all right look let's have like a come to jesus about fun facts fun facts are not i like getting slapped in the face with blue corn tortilla because it looks like somebody wiped their ass on it that is not a fun fact that is a gross fact that is a fact i do not want to hear so too is people used to wipe their ass on corn cobs all right that's not fun what speaks our definition of fun right now, okay? That is not it. I find it fun. I do not find it fun. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I said but and to think I was being polite. No! <laughs> it depends on what you're into, AP. We're not into anything. We are a public. We are a stream. God, damn it. Ah, fun fact: Aiden has never had mustard. That is not fun. That is sad. Ah. <laughs> the only condiment he has had is ketchup, and he only had it twice in his life. That is a depressing fact. That is a pathetic fact. That is so not fun. No. We need to let it out. It's been a long day. What are these Thursday streams, man? <sighs> so, so you are my moderator. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh God. Trey, Trey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, click jackets are not better than click bars. What is wrong with you? Oh my God. My grandma forgot my name for years and combined me and my brother's names. I feel like that's just like a normal grandma thing though, Aiden. Don't let that get you down. I thought even my parents sometimes, I I feel like everyone has this experience if they have siblings, especially ones that are of the same gender. I get called my sister's names all the time, literally constantly. So I wouldn't feel too bad about that, Aiden. I think that's just the thing. We should share fun facts and meetups. Absolutely not. That is not how you make friends. Easy fix. Just say the same name with your siblings. Oh man, I have the same birthday as my younger sister. Yeah, fucking yeah. That sounds planned. You can't even plan that shit. I wouldn't be allowed in a meetup. I, I don't know, Aiden. <laughs> Is it nine months after your dad's birthday? Two days. Yeah, not only do not only do I share a birthday with my younger sister, our birthday is two days before our dad's birthday. I shit you not. Space, how are you? Dude, close your ears. We are having such a degen stream. We were just talking about all sorts of shit. I liked it better when we were talking corn. I'm never talking about corn in your vicinity again. Absolutely not. Your dad had it all planned? Honestly, fucking probably. My younger brother and I have the same birthday as well. Isn't it the worst? Did your parents ever... Hold on. Did your parents ever forget your birthday and not your brother's birthday? Or is that like a me thing? That could just be a me thing. 
Do they make you share cakes and presents? I just, like, I want to know. I've never met somebody else with the same problem, so I want to know, like, what was a shared experience and what was not, you know? I like good... <laughs> Sucks there. Do not expound on how you like your corn cob or where you like it placed, please. Very corny. Ew. <laughs> Corn talk was wholesome. Corn talk was the opposite of wholesome. All right. <laughs> this stream is amazing. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. I'm gonna have to wipe the contents of this stream from the internet. Jesus Christ. Luckily, me and my brother's birthdays are a month apart. That's nice. That is nice. They didn't forget, but it felt like it was more about his birthday more than mine at one point. Yeah, because he's younger, right? Didn't they give you that excuse? They gave me that excuse, too. It was like, oh, well, we have to make a bigger deal about hers because she's younger, so. Seven-year-old me was not happy about that, all right? <laughs> if you wipe the stream, make sure to use the corn cob and eco friendly. <laughs> I regret coming back. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Once again, I feel rewarded for tuning into a Switch living stream. I mean, people sleep on them, but let's be honest. You can't wipe the stream from our memory. Apparently, I can using a fucking corn cob. I have questions now. Is it the actual corn cob they used or the leaves of the corn? Supposedly the actual corn cob. And I don't want anybody to expound on that. <laughs> Sucks her, I swear to fucking Christ. There's a kernel of fruits to it. Jesus, at least you're not constipated. All right, all right. Corncentrate? All right. All right. Corn theme boards? You know, we could, we should be building a corn at this point. We should be. I haven't even started lubing these switches. We haven't even finished. We're almost to, we're an hour and a half into stream and I haven't finished cracking the switches. This is not good. <sighs> Can I collapse corn on a corn? Oh, Jesus. I mean, like, cornered the market. Why don't you just whip these out? My God. Space, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Asmodeus. I appreciate it. Is that what inspired Kinetic Labs' corn set? That would explain the brown. Yeah, I was wondering where that came from, actually. That would explain the brown legend. I think you're on to something. We need a corn dust mat. There is one on kineticlab.com. <laughs> kinetic you can use our affiliate code that you can find by hitting exclamation point affiliate if you would like to purchase your corn related products. <laughs> I'm not reading that if. <laughs> Jesus. Hello, I am here to claim the GMK Copper Raffle Prize. Did you guys hear about that? Oh my god. It was like, uh, it was like the DC meetup all over again. So for those, okay, so background. There was this guy who was notorious. I'm going to give you like lots of background here. Way back when, there was this guy. I'm not going to name them. They were mostly in artisan circles, but at that time, art artisan circles were keyboard circles. Uh, like, neither was as big as they were, so they kind of overlapped. Um, the DC meetup had a huge prize. It was G it was SA Troubled Minds, which was a Joker-themed set, by the way. Uh, and this was, like, the highest the set had ever sold for aftermarket, and they had a set to give away at this meetup. So everyone was fucking pumped for it. They call the giveaway winner. <laughs> and this guy 
like goes up and gets it. He's fucking pumped. Everyone's like, oh, all right, dope. Like, go you. This guy, by the way, who went up and picked it up, had a horrible reputation. Uh, in fact, he was most known for panning people in the hobby who were female or female presenting and asking them for pictures of their feet, unironically. Um, so, like, this guy already had a rep for being kind of a shitbag. It's more than that. Uh, but that was my interaction with them. And then they go up and they get this trouble mindset. Whatever. It's on brand. Good for them. Within the hour, they were flipping that shit on Meg Market. Then, then it comes out that this motherfucker wasn't even the person who won the prize. They went up and grabbed it and it wasn't even theirs. This guy was thinking like nobody would figure it out. This guy had like this guy was like into keyboards. They had to like take a re like they took a reset. They tried to come back and like rebrand under a different name, but everybody knew who it was. It was like this whole thing. So like the whole like pretending to be somebody to pick up the big prize at a meetup and flipping it is so 2011. Like seriously, like 2013, 2014, 2015 hobby. Not actually that old, but like people have been doing it for ages. It's happened so many times. So it's not really a surprise that the person who won GMK Copper at the NorCal meetup wasn't even the person who won GMK Copper at the NorCal meetup. And they were flipping it within seconds of picking that shit up. It was very lame, but like, it happens. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, we put brown shrink on the PBT corn cable. <laughs> Space, don't egg them on. All right, they'll be talking about wiping your ass with a fucking corn cob till kingdom come if we let them. Stop it. That's so funny. It was, it was, it was, it was something. They didn't actually have a way to check who the person was. I mean, how do you do that, though, honestly? You ask someone for our ID. What if they, like, sign up underneath? Like another name. Um, I think what should be done is I think people should be entered into prizes with their tickets and there should be like a unique QR code for every person and that way they can check. They can be like, oh, show us your ticket that you used to get in and they can confirm the prizes that way. But yeah, no, it's like very rare that people confirm uh, giveaway winners just because like who the fuck would steal someone else's giveaway? Usually the person who actually won would be there to like contest it and be like, actually, no, that's fine. You know, so yeah, it, it was it was unfortunate. It's happened before. It'll probably happen again. Uh, but yeah, that really stunk. I was a winner, but it took me a second to realize it with how bad my name was butchered. Yeah, that's the other side of it is like, what's that? <laughs> we're, 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 did they call someone else? Is that my name? Hope the trip was nice. Thank you so much for the five months series. You know, it was busy, but it was so good to meet you guys. Honestly, it's like my favorite part of meetups is like meeting y'all um they're always so busy like i was on my feet talking to y'all for the full six hours of the meetup uh i had to like stare at a wall afterwards a hundred percent it was so funny actually <laughs> after <laughs> after everybody left like after the giveaways were done like i think all of us that uh were brought in as like content creators were just like sitting on couches staring at the ceiling like you just look around and we were all just like clearly wiped so it's good. It's tiring. Uh, I actually like accidentally fell asleep right before the stream, which was why we were late. Um, I like woke up right at four o'clock. Uh, and I, I don't doubt that'll happen again. I'm wiped. But um, it's always really, really, really good to see you guys. It's why I go to meetups. It is so fucking fun to talk to y'all. So Apparently the guy had some story along the lines of his dad telling him it was his name called him to go up and claim it. And like, yeah, sure, that might have happened, but your dad didn't tell you to flip that shit on Mech Market. Um, just like for the record, and this is like pretty well-known uh, meetup etiquette, but or like giveaway etiquette in general, but just in case you guys didn't know, it is not okay to sell things that were given to you for free. 
every meetup, there was always some sort of flipping drama. Even if it's not stealing and flipping drama, there was always some sort of flipping drama. It is not okay to sell things that are given to you for free. Good life rule, to be honest. Good life rule. Good life rule. People tend to get a bit peeved about that one. It sounds like there's always a few cornholes at those meetups. <laughs> uh, but can I get it to a friend? Yeah, 100%. Like, you can re-gift giveaway items. Yeah, just don't sell them. Yeah, no, it's okay. He got, like, insta-banned from, like, everything, so. Sela. Dion closed his Discord marketplace when someone tried to flip their 722 for 1200 within hours of the sale. Yeah, I mean, that shit's such a slap in the face. To do it in, like, a designer's Discord is pretty fucked. Uh, like, that's a real slap in the face. Like, hey, I know you just sold it to me, but I am now going to use this to make money. And you don't get any of it. Fuck you. That's that's what like flipping something that somebody's made in their server is like. I don't blame Dion at all. That's pretty fucked. Kid was 13. 13 is plenty old to know that you don't sell this. <laughs> right? Like, I feel like that's that like you should. <laughs> I have little sympathy. And I again, they say they're 13. Doesn't mean they're 13. And honestly, also, like, this is such, like, a non-big deal. It would be one thing if, like, I don't know, it was something that affected their life in any way. Like, they were getting, like, cancelled on social media or something, and this was, like, a stain that would follow them forever. This guy just isn't allowed into, like, keyboard communities under the same Discord name, so not a bad way to learn a lesson at 13 either. I have zero sympathy. I hope people just don't buy it. I don't think they will. It was like mega flip too, so. I find it weird how some people will try to avoid the tag of being called a flipper by saying they're just trying to trade up, like trading 722 for a unicorn or something like that. I mean, like, look, like it's always like a tricky thing to navigate. Um, I understand, like probably more than most, honestly, like being in this hobby and not having a lot of money. And so trying to work with what you get to turn it into more so you can stay participating within the space like i genuinely really get it and that can be really hard to navigate that being said um you know there's do's and don'ts and there's you know things you do that just make you a dick uh and you just have to be aware of them Uh, the board on my desk is a Xeno, uh, if that's, if that's something that you want to know. Yeah, that is a Xeno. Okay, we cracked the switches. We did it. <laughs> it took us almost two hours, but we finished cracking 72 switches. Proud of us. Honestly, round of applause. <laughs> that's a fancy loop station, though. It's my favorite by far. It's from, uh... God damn it, I am so tired. It's from Prime Keyboards, but um, it, it is 3D printed. They don't sell this one anymore. They only still sell this one. But as you can see, they have like an angle to them, which is really helpful for me to see what I'm doing. I also really like Space Cables' loop station. As far as like capacity goes, I mean, you see I have to put like two together. Space Cables' is, I only need one. It's over here. I only need one but because my desk is so close to my face this being flat means i can't see the rails so when i'm hand lubing uh which i don't do very much anymore but when i'm hand lubing i couldn't see what was going on with those rails uh, because it is flat um if your desk is a normal height you'll probably prefer this but i personally currently have been preferring this my see the crazy cat lady i'm coming for your spot impossible Nobody can love cats as much as I do. And be sane. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I don't see an issue with selling or reselling things. So the issue is that people are reselling. Just to explain unknown, unknown <laughs> excuse me. 
the issue isn't that people are selling it's that they're entering into limited runs and limited raffles with the expectation and the plan of selling they don't actually want the product they only want to get it so they can make money off of it and that takes an opportunity from someone who wants the product away away from them so they can't purchase it and they have to buy the scalped product this is not an issue of reselling there's nothing wrong with reselling a product if you're done with it if you bought it with the intention of using it and now you no longer want it the issue is scalping uh it's flipping it's not reselling i hope that makes sense where's my switch up and we've got one sneaker print model exactly john it's like when uh People were buying up all the like N95, well, okay, this is an extreme example. Obviously like people's health doesn't depend on this. But do you remember when everyone was like buying up all the like Lysol and the COVID, like the COVID masks and stuff and like reselling them at like a massive market markup at the beginning of the pandemic? And like how actual laws had to be put in place to stop that because it was uneth unethical? That's what we're kind of talking about. Just in like in a less extreme, non-life-threatening context. Just use corn, son of a motherfucker. <laughs> the guy with the garage full of hand sanitizer? No, exactly. Toilet paper? Yeah, no, the toilet paper scalpers, exactly. People went to actual jail for that shit? As they should. Like, in that case, it's like health-related, right? <laughs> But yeah, no, it's the same sort of thing. It is hugely unethical. Makes sense, I agree with that. Yeah, no, thank you for giving us the opportunity to explain because I get what you were saying. But at the end of the day, every great story has a villain, which keeps the hobby interesting, I guess. It's not the hobby unless there's a new drama every month. All right. Oh, that's kind of a lot of 205. I kind of overdid it a bit. We'll see. Have you ever tried lubing switches with 205 grade 2? Uh, no, because I actually prefer a lighter lubrication. Uh, 205 grade 2 is a little bit thick for me. Uh, 205 grade 0 is even kind of pushing it in certain contexts. But what you like is what matters. Alright guys. Let's go. Aiden, the fuck do you hate? Why? You know what, actually? Aiden, speak your truth. Why do you hate sweet potatoes? Lay it on me. I'm here for it. You know what? I am embracing you for you. Tell me why you hate sweet potatoes. As I shake this jar of stems. Go for it. Speak now. Okay, I can't do this. Did you just call sweet potato pie mid? The fuck? <laughs> what? Nah. Also, serious, I respect you, but what do you mean starches shouldn't be sweet? Literally every starch in the history of ever is sweet. Every single one. That is what a starch is. <laughs> Hi, Tofu, how are you? <laughs> I promise I'm, I promise I'm only about half as aggressive as I sound. I'm three quarters as aggressive as I sound. How the f who? Who hurt 
situated? Have you ever had an actual sweet potato pie? <sighs> apples are mostly bad. Store-bought apples are mostly bad. I'm actually on board with that. That that's that's a fact. I hate that I'm agreeing with you, but that is a fact. Bro, what does this guy eat? He told us! He told us! He eats fucking dry ass turkey ass sandwiches with cheese, turkey, and white bread. And that's it. I don't, I don't think he's still listening to him, to be honest. Why is he listening to you? <laughs> Pumpkin is top tier. See, what? Aiden! 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 Sweet potato pie and pumpkin pie are like besties. They're siblings. How do you hate one and like the other? I'm like smacking the table, I'm so upset. How, like actually, how do you hate one and like the other? Please God, don't listen to me. <laughs> I, it's in my nature, I listen to everyone. I can't just like ignore you, Aiden. <laughs> I'm so confused. Aiden isn't invited to the cookout? No, seriously, like, never. Well, he can't even come to the fucking cookout. He doesn't eat half the shit. Could you imagine rolling up to a cookout and being like, nah, I don't like seafood or condiments. <laughs> Please don't use spices. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You didn't know this about me because my subway order is a foot long turkey on meat with only mayo. What is wrong with my chat? Actually, what is wrong with- Is this what like everyone means when they say Twitch chat is fucking insane? I didn't trust them. I was like, nah, man, my community- What? Mood, who hurt you? God. We're gonna let the tur we're gonna let the fact that you have a turkey sandwich with just mayonnaise and turkey pass. All right, we've all had dark days. What bothers me? What fucking bothers me is you are paying for Subway to make you that. You are paying twelve dollars for a wheat bun with deli turkey and mayonnaise <laughs> what <laughs> for you <laughs> I am upset <laughs> you decide your subway sandwich when you're eight years old let me live my life. No, because that is actually true. I have had nothing but Italian sub sandwiches for the majority of my life because that's why eight-year-old me decided it sounded good because I just watched The Godfather. <laughs> so, you know what? Kind of pies, but also I'm disturbed and a little bit afraid. <laughs> I'd rather eat a Big Mac without the patties. You look like Lily on How I Met Your Mother. That's a new one. I'm gonna add that to the list. Usually, I get Scarlett Johansson, which feels very lazy because I look nothing like Scar jo. Like, that would be very flattering, except for the only thing we have in common is we both have red hair. <laughs> so I'm gonna add that to the list. Thank you for adding a new one. <laughs> I appreciate that. Wait, no, because what? <laughs> Most people evolve after eight. Sandy, we like them. <laughs> don't, don't murder them, all right? Baby AP is the new godfather. Dude, I wanted to grow up to be a fucking mafioso so bad at the age of eight. You have no idea. You have no idea. I was like, yeah, this is me. Cat and all. <laughs> I've not had Subway in many years. Is that shit actually 12 bucks now? I think footlongs are kind of up there in price, yeah. Are all keyboard enthusiasts this degenerate? A uh, fucking apparently. You know, honestly, 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 I need the hope. Because we were in that sweaty ass meetup room, and for the first time at a meetup, 
not one person that I talked to, not one person was like absolutely stinking of BO, all right? That was like the first time in meetup history that didn't happen to me. Everyone did not stink. 10 out of 10, best meetup ever. I had hope. And now my chat is making me question things. <laughs> I don't wanna talk about it. No, we're fucking talking about it. Mr. No Avocado Ass, Dry Ass, Turkey Sandwich Ass, Fucking no condiment as having Twitch chat, motherfucker. All right, Aiden, I you've been in my chat for how long? Cat smell like dry ass sandwich. <laughs> What's the one insult that someone gave to me? I understand it now. What was it? It was so fucking good. Yeah, dude, shout out to the guy who said they thought I smelled like Slim Jims. I understand now. I was so confused. I was so confused, but shout out to you, dude. I get it. I get it. Just remember there's two of us now when you attack. Or <laughs> you attack Aiden. You attack me also? No, because your sandwich isn't dry. Do you know what Aiden does? No mayonnaise. You have mayonnaise. At least you're adding fucking liquid. I'm sorry, I'm yelling. Hold on. <clears throat> you're adding liquid. Right? At least there's like something to make it so you don't have to have the fucking Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> you perform it on you every time you eat a turkey sandwich. All right, this fucker just has cheese. There's no thing. It's the Wonder Bread, dry ass deli turkey, and American cheese. Are you sure the no stinky thing is not due to you wearing a face mask? Look, Joni, I wasn't gonna mention it, but maybe. <laughs> Rip Ono's Teams meeting? Oh no, he's so used to like muting himself by now. <laughs> uh, how the fuck does turkey stay in place with a monument? Asking the real questions. How is the turkey not just sliding out the back? I'm serious, like, I am just so scared of Aiden now. RTX working hard today. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I've actually even bumped like our mic audio. Like I've bumped it down so much throughout the stream. Every time you've seen me grab my mouse, it's fun to nudge that down because I noticed we were peeking and it's still happening. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, on God, that was the nicest smelly meat I've been to. Okay, thank you for the validation because I was kind of impressed. I was like, damn, there's no BO. I'm here. Everybody remembered their deodorant. Let's go. <laughs> this is real evolution in the hobby. <laughs> Aiden also just clarified the recipe of the turkey cheese bread, stating that the cheese. You know? Clarify that. I don't want to know. Do not specify. Thank you. God damn it. <laughs> Stop redeeming posture checks. I'm ranting. God damn it. <laughs> it just sounds like her voice is going hoarse. I haven't recovered from the meat. I couldn't talk after that bitch, all right? <laughs> Fucking hell. What's the word ban, Sandy? Just put it in. I don't even want to know. Just put it in. Don't clip that either. Um. <laughs> Everything's bad. Damn it, chat. <laughs> it's now not even a sandwich, it's just bread. We need an exorcist? Yeah, for my entire fucking Twitch chat. God damn. Fucking hell. I'll ban sandwich, dude. Now leave sandwich. I want to see people try to avoid the turkey word bet. Spraying holy water probably smelling sandwich. <laughs> yeah, Trey, go ahead, just ban it. At this point, it's just charcuterie. It's no, it's because he doesn't toast. Alan's about to come 
check on me because I'm banging the table so much. We can't even pretend it's charcuterie. We can't even like... Ah! I'm never sharing any food orders here again. No, please, please do, please. I want to know what else is on your on your fucking. What's your what's your McDonald's order? No, no, shit, fuck that. Give me a Starbucks order. Do you order cold brew with Starbucks or something? My God. <laughs> Gobble meat sandwich. That came out wrong. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Might as well change the title to Aiden Slander. Look, man. If you don't want to be bullied, just don't talk. <laughs> that's what, uh, <clears throat> that's what my teachers told me in fourth grade. So I'm passing that advice on to you. <laughs> Too dark? Probably not. I do actually see what you're Starbucks order is fire. I get a butter croissant. Okay, I'm with you. One chocolate croissant. Okay, I'm with you. And a vanilla bean crap. Okay, okay. Redemption. Fucking redemption. I, I fuck with that. <laughs> no, it's got nothing in it. Okay, yeah, no, exactly, Eden. Exactly. I don't know why you think that's a defense. That is the problem. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I wouldn't be surprised if Lunchables had more flavor. At least they have the fucking, what, what's it called? Minard reaction going on with those fucking crackers. At least the fan, the, the, the fucking ham they give you has juice, all right? Who, who puts fucking turkey with no condiments? Turkey's the driest motherfucking meat out there. And you're gonna really call that with no mayonnaise. No tomato. Just a dry ass slice of American ass cheese. I do not respect that. <laughs> People who add stuff scare me. Yeah, we're getting that, Aiden. We're getting that. We're getting you. Maybe. I feel like you should show your therapist this. <laughs> maybe just rehash this talk with your therapist. It might help. <laughs> I like my bean juice to be dessert flavor, dude. Alan. Alan wants his coffee to taste like a dessert. If that shit isn't liquid tiramisu, he is not with it. I joined chat thinking I'd be watching a keyboard build. Look, man, you only have yourself to blame, all right? I can do black coffee, but cold brew black is just no. Again, like, my issue, like, we all occasionally like, like, a good... Hmm. I was gonna say stiff, but, uh, a, a, a bracing, perhaps. Uh, like, a nice, cold black coffee on occasion all right like sometimes we just need to get punched in the face with some caffeine um that's fine my issue is ordering it at starbucks <laughs> god damn my therapist actually quit me she had too many patients yo fuck your therapist jokes aside fuck your therapist i'll fuck her up you send me your, you send me your address we'll roll up don't worry, I'll like roll out my imaginary sleeves and everything. Let's go. I am tall. I, I can be scary. <laughs> Damn, fuck your therapist. All right, I gotta go to a dumpling place and order a bowl of steamed rice. Okay, I feel like... Bye. <laughs> oh, God. If you and I will roll up, I'll bring the corn. <laughs> Socks there. Oh, god damn! I've seen people order espressos from Starbucks. The fuck? Really? I have. Okay. Honest, honest. Judge me for this if you want to. I have occasionally considered ordering like a cortado from Starbucks just to see their faces. Yeah. 
there's just something in me that wants to do that sometime. You know? Just really, oh yeah, can I get a Cortado? <laughs> What's a Cortado? Uh, the way, I think the way I best heard it summarized is it's like the most acceptable way to have milk with your espresso if you're a coffee snob. It's also my favorite coffee drink. Um, but yeah, no, it's not something you would order at a Starbucks. <laughs> <clears throat> Cortados are amazing. Dude, I just fucking love me some steamed milk. I can't like espressos are nice, but I I need my I need my cow juice, you know. I love Cortados. Okay, chat redeem. <laughs> we moved on from dry ass turkey sandwiches. Everybody likes Cortados. All is all is good in the real world. I'm no longer worried about all of you for not liking avocados and seafood and toast. Cortado is my go-to these days. Uh, it's like such a good measure of a coffee shop too. Because it lets you know if they know how to steam milk and if they know how to make coffee. I'm here for it. And that sounds fucking stupid, like, do we know how to steam milk? But seriously. <laughs> but why would it be a bad thing to order a cortado in the Starbucks? Because for a cortado, because it's literally just two ingredients, you want good coffee, right? Like, you want a good espresso. Like, you wouldn't order an espresso at Starbucks, for instance, because, like, Starbucks coffee just isn't good coffee. You want to drown that shit in sugar. Like, you go to Starbucks for the sugar drinks. Um, for like the flavor additives. Um, it's like second wave coffee or whatever, not third wave. So yeah, that that's why you wouldn't order it at a, at a Starbucks. Also, it's kind of a weird drink. It's like, you know, it's not like super common, like a latte, for instance. Uh, so it's not like, it's not like unknown, right? It's not like it's like really weird, but it's a little bit odd too. So it has that going for it as well. What do you think of Americanos? I think American I think Americanos taste like dishwater. I hate Americanos. God for like God help me if I ever visit Korea. I don't think I'd be able to blend in with a fucking Americano. The difference between good and bad steamed milk is day and night. Thank you, Kitsumi. I appreciate the validation. I hate when I have... Oh my god, okay. So the worst ever matcha latte I had was in New York. Uh, we were desperate for a coffee shop. We needed one like then. We were all dying. And we were like falling asleep standing up. So we went to this one that had really good reviews. I don't know like how you fuck up a matcha latte. I got a matcha latte because I just needed something that wasn't shit. And I've never had a match bad matcha latte in my life because it's literally just steamed milk and matcha. How the fuck do you fuck that up? But somehow, somehow this poor, overworked, in the middle of the pandemic motherfucker managed to make the most disgusting matcha latte I've ever had in my life. The steamed milk, I think he burnt it. <laughs> it had like the film going on and I drink it fresh. This was not like, oh, I was walking for an hour and then had a sip and I was like, oh, this is nasty. And there was no matcha powder in it. It was literally just lightly green steamed milk in a cup. But I paid $10 for it. I still like, it's been a, a year since I had that drink and it still gives me like fucking war flashbacks. I felt so bad, but it was so gross. Matcha is the problem, Aiden. Aiden, no, <laughs> no, we're not doing this. Black coffee also solos. We have an appreciation for black, for black coffee. I'll I'll let that I'll let that slide. Come to Korea. I was supposed to pre panini. I was supposed to come to Korea pre pandemic. I was going with Alan's family. It was gonna be great. I was gonna meet his grandma. She runs a spice shop in Busan. I was like so fucking pumped. His grandma's a G, dude. I was so excited for this Korea trip. No dice. Oh. 
Sorry, I'm digging out my 62.5 gram slow springs. I don't know where I put my actual pound of them. Please hold. Are these them? No, those are space bars. I didn't clean my stream room before I left, and we had that absolutely chaotic Promise 87 stream, so I just have, like, boxes of, like, MJ Studio packaging on the ground. It's bad. Uh, God, where did I put the springs? Oh, there we are. Nice. Oh, cool. Pusan is where my mother-in-law is from. Oh, dope. Yeah, that's where uh, Alan's family is from. Is from Pusan. Obviously, since his grandma's still there. Duh. Anyone going to the Nashville meetup? Uh, I would have loved to, but it's just too much traveling. Because I'm going to the Canon Keys meetup uh, in August as well. Or is Korea? Is that a country? I don't know. It's like this like weird... I think it's in Europe. My ferrets have a deep joy giving me heart attacks that they've broken out of the cage and hidden under my oven more than once. Dude, I would be such a nervous wreck if I had ferrets. Hats off to you. Also, don't ferrets smell? I feel like I was told that ferrets, like, have that rodent smell. You know how, like, all rodents have a smell? I can't do them. I grew up with, like, rats in the ceiling. <laughs> so, like, the rodent smell is just, I can't, I can't. Musky, yeah, I can't hack it with rodent smell. Ferrets are damn cute, though. I thought it was in Canada. <laughs> you get used to it so fast. I don't think I could. Cool, I like country music. <laughs> Let's go. I guess Korea is like Atlantis. Yeah, it just like pops up in weird places. Do chinchillas have that smell too since they shower? I feel like most rodents have rodent smell. But I wouldn't know. I've never owned a rodent voluntarily. <laughs> Supposedly bunnies have that smell too, which broke my heart. I really wanted to have a bunny. But Alan, like, immediately nixed that idea. He was like, nah, they smell like rats. <laughs> Bunnies are super overrated. Well, I wanted one because, like, Miso gets kind of lonely because Princess is kind of old. So, like, Miso has, like, all this energy and we can only play with him so much. So I was like, okay, let's get him a friend, but not another cat. Uh, and I heard, like, bunnies and cats usually get along pretty well. And, like, bunnies are generally pretty easy to clean up after was what I was told, but... Alan said his uncle had a bunny, and it it was rank, so. Good for eating, though? Oh, yeah, no, bunnies taste great, 100%. I'm afraid of mice and rats, as you should be. My bunny used to chase stray cats away from our backyard. Yeah, no, bunnies can fuck you up. We had a bunch of, like, wild bunnies on our farm. Well, wild. A lot of the time, they were, like, abandoned around Easter. We were, like, a farm in the middle of, like, the city. And so all of people's unwanted pets, they just, like, abandoned on our door. Stop. Remind me sometime to tell you the story of the 15-foot monitor lizard. Uh, but that, I think, is a story for another stream. Um, but, yeah, we would get bunnies, like, house bunnies that would be abandoned, that would make their way into our farm. And... We would try to, like, take care of them as best we could, but <laughs> it's hard to catch a bunny in the wild. Um, so, but they would, like, fuck, they would fuck things up 100%. Oh no, Mason. Yeah, that would be a probably no. I'm afraid of mice and men. I hated that book. My bunny, we wait, wait, already with that. Just get a duck. Ducks are cute. I do really want a duck. Someone at the meetup actually had a really cute duck tattoo. I was so incredibly jealous. It 
AB just put the springs away. We're in chat stream now. No, I have to, I have to loop the switches. God damn it. I this movie gets duck names at Donald. That is such a horrible name for a duck. Fuck that. Bunnies should be named something. Like bunnies should sound like they were named by an eight year old. If my bunny isn't named Princess Twilight Sparkle, I, I don't want it. <laughs> I want a baby monkey in the worst way. <laughs> no, Aiden. No, you do not. Shut up. <laughs> Nobody wants a pet monkey. Everybody thinks they want a pet monkey. Nobody wants a pet monkey. Sorry, uh, Aiden, if 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 the joke bullying ever gets too much like actual bullying, just like throw up a peace sign in chat and I'll knock it off. Um, but no, no, no. Monkeys are terrifying. I hate monkeys. I have we talked about this before? I despise there are like three animals I cannot fuck with. Literally three. I can fuck with spiders. I don't even mind black widows. Like, I grew up with them around. So, like, you know, ground recluses, whatever, does not phase me. Three animals I do not fuck with. Monkeys. <laughs> Alright. Do not fuck with monkeys. Doesn't matter what size. I do not fuck with monkeys. Um, rats and roaches. That's it. Everything else, I'm pretty chill with. We're alright. You know, I respect you. You respect me all good whatever monkeys rats and roaches absolutely the fuck not <laughs> monkeys can rip your genitals off yeah that sounds like a possibility no monkeys will try to rip your genitals off if at all possible if you piss them off that is a thing they do <laughs> that is the that is a thing they have done and will continue to do <laughs> So we are setting up a safe word emoji. Hey, we believe in being safe and sane over here. Consent is important. Snake spiders. I fuck with snakes. I fuck with I fuck with spiders. It's totally fine. I grew up with snakes. I grew up with spiders. We're all right. It's chill. We're homies. I respect them. They respect me. We give each other our, our space. We're all right. Roaches will fly in your fucking face. I do not respect roaches. Rats will nibble on you. I do not respect rats. Monkeys will tear off your balls. I do not respect monkeys. <laughs> I'm a Lions fan. You're very lucky. I'm not into. I'm not into football. What about birds? I'm pretty all right with birds. Large parrots are a little bit scary. Other than that, we're all right. Hi, Kevin. How are you? What about a horse named Roach? Yeah, I'd fuck with Roach. <laughs> That's all right. Those fuckers can be mean. My uncle has one in Hawaii that tried to bite me. No, yeah, no, 100%. Like, large parrots bite people. I actually had this conversation with a friend uh, when we were in San Francisco. Uh, their uncle has parrots as well. So, like, really? Like, I thought you liked birds. No, I like, like, cockatiels. Like, any bird that is, like, under a foot, I'm chill with. Like, if they'll bite, it'll hurt like a motherfucker. But, like, overall, you'll be all right. But, like, parrots? Parrots with their big-ass, like, choppy beaks? Absolutely not. Those motherfuckers will take off a finger, and they won't feel bad about it. And they live forever. They live forever. They're, like, eternally three years old with the ability to take off a finger and a memory. <laughs> I don't, I don't really like parrots, but I'll deal with them. It's all right. I won't deal with roaches. If I see a roach, I turn around and I walk away. If I see a rat, same thing. New York was hell. Um, and same thing with monkeys. I don't like monkeys. Most birds are just untasty chickens that fly. You know, I've never understood people's hatred for pigeons. That one has never, like, I don't get it. Because pigeons were originally, like, pets. Like, the reason there's so many pigeons is because we made... It was like, um... It's like if humans had dogs and then suddenly got bored of dogs. And so they just let the dogs roam free and then complained about them being dirty. <laughs> pigeons are, like, the, like, like the, one of humanity's, like, biggest, like, bullshit moments. Because pigeons shit everywhere? Yeah, but, like, we made them that way. <laughs> like, pigeons, pigeons are a domesticated animal. 
They just got abandoned. <laughs> That's what happened to the dingoes. Yeah, it's bullshit. My girlfriend loves pigeons. Pigeons d deserve better. I'm a pigeon apologist. Pigeons are tasty. Pigeons are tasty. He got my uncle once and he needed like 10 stitches. This one should outlive him by like 20 years. Yeah, no, exactly. I don't, I don't really love large, I don't really fuck with large parrots. Oh my god, I just realized we haven't had background music this whole time, sorry. I got like so into like trying to convince Aiden to have flavor in his life that I just completely fucking spaced the music, my bad. But like toucans are super cute. No, 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 toucans are like the sweetest, the sweetest birds on earth. No, we like toucans. Toucans don't count. Also, toucans are only like this tall. Like they're fine, we're good. They, 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 they fit into like foot or under a rule. All right. Seagulls are insane. We get seagulls a lot in Utah, actually, because of the Salt Lake. So I, yeah, I was like, one of my first introductions to Utah was I went to a grocery store parking lot and a child was eating like a sandwich as they were walking into this grocery store and they got dive bombed by about 10 fucking seagulls. When I say child, I mean like a three year old. All right, this like, barely able to walk motherfucker was just trying to enjoy their lunch their sandwich and they got dive bombed by like 10 seagulls and my roommate was like yeah welcome to you <laughs> it's like oh okay nice <laughs> two can beaks are huge they like clean them a lot too we have an aviary in salt lake which if you're ever in salt lake i highly recommend you go to um and they have like three two cans so fun so fucking cute. I walk outside during Halloween and I have a built-in Casper costume. Do you see me? <laughs> I know the feeling. Like, do <laughs> we can be Casper together? I <laughs> I went to see my dermatologist because you know when you're this white, you have to go see the dermatologist on a regular basis for skin cancer. And they were like, so uh, I don't need to have the sunscreen talk with you. It's like, oh yeah, thanks. Thanks for that one. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> Literally, like, the first time I meet this dermatologist, first words out of their mouth were, I don't need to have the sunscreen talk with you. Great. <laughs> Aiden glows in the dark, really? <laughs> I can believe it. This word sandwich gives me PTSD now. Me too, kind of. Like a little bit. Sunscreen is the fountain of youth. Yeah, it also keeps you from getting cancer and dying, so that's a bonus. Have you guys seen a toucan in prison? They're so cute. They kill me. I think they're Alan's favorite bird. And Alan really likes birds. They deserve it. Bees scare me. I don't give a fuck how many times I'm told they're- Why are you here, Aiden? <laughs> you are in the wrong stream. You don't like condiments. You don't like flavor. You don't like bees. <laughs> what are you doing here? Have you seen those parents that live over a hundred? Most parents live to be pretty old. Are you talking about the gray? The great parrots. All bees are bad, cancel bees. Get out of here. With your shitty ass takes. Bees up close creep me out. I bet you creep them out too. Ooh. Wasps give us figs. Nah, fuck wasps. Bees can do their job. I'm just kind of here. <laughs> you know what? Same. To be fair, same. Hayden Lewis has been following for one year and six days. Nice. Macaws? Macaws only live to be like 70. 
Also, macaws are the ones I'm talking about that like scare me. But I thought they have like an average age of like 80 or something. I missed our one year. I'm sorry, dude. You know, should sh should have subbed so you'd have gotten the ding. <laughs> nah. Oh no, are we gonna have like the the follow which dick measuring contest in chat now? Let's go. Uh, we should have like a prize for the person who's been following the longest in chat. I hope Red Bat isn't here. He's gonna like insta win. <laughs> One month in three weeks. You know what? I'm glad you're here, Salem. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> three weeks, two days. Oh no, it's the anti dick measuring contest. <laughs> I'm here for it. I don't know, did you guys break the <laughs> Did you break the bot? <laughs> Small BP. <laughs> hey, you know what? Motion of the ocean, my dude. Don't be ashamed. <laughs> Carter blocked me and I'm kind of judging him for taking that long. Carter, there's a couple Carters. So I don't know which Carter you're referring to, unfortunately. Okay, 11 months is solid. <laughs> Four scores in seven years. Check. One month, two weeks, solid, solid, solid. Seven months, two weeks is solid too. Carter PCs, ooh. Wow, what'd you do to like do that? A year, four months, not bad, not bad, not bad. I think Suxer probably wins. Unless Red Bag gets in here, then you're all fucked. No doubt before my big Oh no, Trey's getting in here. Let's go get those elbows out, Trey. <laughs> Trey, you've like here for a while. It broke. It's uh, you know, Streamlabs is uh, Streamlabs. It might take a couple times. Two years, eleven months. Edged out Suxer by like two. What switches are these, by the way? These are the the matrix linear version. The boost is getting out his elbows now. Let's go. Most of like our folks who've been around for a while tend to lurk nowadays, I've noticed. <laughs> Wait, 2019 was three years ago? The fuck? Yeah. Yeah, we started streaming, I think technically late 2018. I think it was, no, 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 I think it was 2019. It was June. Technically, we started regularly streaming in June of 2019. So I think that was when we hit affiliate. So I think that's what I count as like our stream anniversary. I think I followed the day of the 7 Vs stream. You know what? I think you did, actually. I think I actually remember that. Damn, that was so long ago. Oh, I feel old. The 7 V was like my first like really big stream too. Because Novel Keys gave me the exclusive thanks to, I think, Goth. And that thing was so fucking hype. I started following you in October and you made me a mod a month later. Look, we were desperate, all right? 
I desperately needed mods. Clearly, Mr. Corncob. <laughs> the pandemic, yeah, I feel like 2020 and 2021 really don't count. I, d I genuinely kind of feel like I leapt forward in time. I don't know if that's like an old person thing or a pandemic thing, and I don't want anyone to tell me which it is, to be honest. I thought it was because I was qualified. Nah. Nah. <laughs> the first story I watched, I remember thinking she definitely has cats. Be careful, buddy. <laughs> but also, you are wrong, to be fair. Now the community has ruined me. I recently purchased an NK65 entry edition for a couple of days a month at the office because I got tired of making apostrophe when going for escape. Ah, uh, the breaking point, classic. It feels like 2018 was yesterday. Time is passing by, man. I know we're all getting old. We're all dying. Feels bad, man. I still get people hopping back in the stream. I mean, this even happened last stream being like, oh, you look different. Cause like I dyed my hair like a year ago. <laughs> That's the tilde key. Isn't that apostrophe? Someone's gotta know. Yeah, it's been almost a year since I went red. Crazy, right? No, it's been, oh, it's been over a year. Fuck. <laughs> I was made a mod just cause I was always here and because Geo, yeah. I get to replace hi with hi now. Yeah, you got like the bougie, the bougie emotes. Welcome to the club, Aiden. It was fun to mess with Gia. Yeah, we have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's put the tops on these babies. And I'm probably gonna go crash again. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, I have a question for y'all. What's like the one thing you wish you could see at a meetup that you just don't? I don't volunteer. Everything I said was a joke, don't worry. We wouldn't, we wouldn't take you anywhere. <laughs> Grills? Ooh, sorry, I just burped. My bad. I'm used to being like, oh, do you mean girls, Joni? I just got that. ISO Alps PCDs, please. Nah, can we have less Alps at meetups? I know there was only like three Alps boards at NorCal, but, uh, no, I'm just kidding. It's good to have some, you know, historical artifacts there. <laughs> no, but that must really suck. You pretty much only have Heine as an option, don't you, Wilhelm, for Alps PCDs? And like a few others, like smaller stuff stuff. Not even the crazy cat lady wants me, what the fuck? <laughs> Rip. 